Welcome back. Thank you for joining us here at Quick Fix Smartphone and Tablet Repair in West Berlin, New Jersey. Today we will be doing a rebuild of the LG Google Nexus 5 brought to you by RootJunkie.com. Alright, let's jump into it. Here on the motherboard, if you flip it over, we have the loudspeaker microphone, the ambient and proximity sensors, the power button, SIM tray reader, volume up and volume down. Flip it back over. And we have the connections for your antenna and your you know, antenna strength. We have the connection for your back camera, the front camera, your vibrate motor, the connection for the daughter board right there, and the battery, of course, is right there. The connection. Go for the daughter board here. You have the connection for the LCD and digitizer. Of course, the charger port, the connections for both antenna. Flip it over, and we have the standard microphone. Moving on, we have the loudspeaker with the loudspeaker connection. Of course, your SIM card, SIM tray. On the back housing, you'll find the vibrate motor attached, permanent, basically. Um, I wouldn't recommend trying to remove it without a lot of heat. Um, then you have the battery, your back camera, your ear speaker, your headphone port, the front camera hiding right over here, and pretty cool, you have the ear speaker connections right here, they just rest there, and on the side here, that just rests to make the connection, I thought that was pretty neat myself. All right, now on the screen, if you're ever doing a rebuild yourself, you always wanna make sure that you have this filter for the home button uh, LED light, or it won't look how you're expecting your LED light to look. And on the housing, you're always gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the ear speaker mesh. All right, now let's get to building. Make sure you have it pulled through evenly. Make sure the bottom is connected. Seat the top. Now you always want to double, triple check everything before you completely rebuild a device. So, let's make sure it looks good. LCD looks fine. Now let's do a test on the touch. Make sure the touch works fine before we go ahead and put any screws back in. While we're waiting for this to turn on, I'm just going to give a shout out to Root Junkie for the opportunity to do these videos for his uh, YouTube channel and website. I appreciate that, bud. Thank you very much. Guys, if you haven't, go check out RootJunkie.com. And if you have an Android device, go download Root Junkie's app from the Google Play Store. Alright, this looks like it's about to boot up any second now, so let's get ready for that touchscreen digitizer test. Look at that. Oh, that's working perfectly. All right, let's go ahead and finish this build. All right, now you wanna make sure that these antennas sit in the respected track. Now, if you ever mix up your screws, obviously there are, if you can see, light blue and more of a silver uh, those are for the top and these ones are for the bottom rebuilding phones for over two years now I gotta recommend you put the right screw back in the right spot okay you don't want to go too deep in this where you know a screw shouldn't go and you end up damaging the board or farther Always put the screws back exactly where they came from. And there you go.
Again, thanks to RootJunkie.com for having me here. And thank you guys. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Have a great day.